So, hello, welcome into another pre recorded Euro Truck Sim 2 video. Once again, my name is Ian Core, the Jordy Gamer. Today, we are back on episode 8 of our new career mode um, on Euro Truck Sim 2 on the 1.49 update. Um, so, let us just head off down to pick up a job. So we're in Roscoff in the north of France. Um, yeah, I'm not really fancying going back into Euro in the UK. Let's have a look at the the options. Hey, what? Let's do that one. Um, Roscoff, staying in France. Do a little shell. Yeah, so we'll take that down to the south of France. Although I'm not sure how our truck is capable of doing this, <laughs> to be fair. Um, oh dear. Like we might have made a mistake here. I think we may very well have um, Dr. Klanger. Oh, that doesn't look like a heavy load. There we go, soya milk. Soy milk from Roscoff to La Rochelle, um, 268 miles. I'm staying in France. This is episode eight of our career new season new career mode. If you haven't already done so, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Be kept surprised when we next go live or update. And if you do want to support the channel, the PayPal link is on the screen as we speak, uh, with a QR code as well. Um, any donations will help towards DLCs um, and any additional content um, for future videos. If you are new to the channel, welcome in. If you're a regular, welcome back. For those that don't know, we generally go live Monday through Thursdays. Um, start times vary from 6pm onwards up to about 8.30 sometimes. Um, streams lasting from an hour and a half to four hours plus. Um, we often we sometimes also get afternoon streams and weekend streams wherever we possibly can. Um, just depends on commitments. Um, live stream is generally obviously two Euro Truck Sim and American Truck Sim. Um, we are now we are going to start splitting between the, the the three games. Um, so two a couple of obviously two a week, um, and then the other two will be split between Euro Truck and American Truck. Um, and if we have an extra night, then we'll just do whatever we fancy. Um, 
we also pre-record videos like this on a regular basis which we upload when we're not live streaming or when we've got videos ready to go and these include OMC2, Euro Truck Sim, American Truck Sim, F123 and EA Sports PG2 Golf um, and that feature various different videos including the tour of the Balkans, the tour of Russia, um, the brand new 1.49 career mode on Euro Truck Um, on the live streams, when we do obviously, when we do Euro Truck and American Truck, we do set the convoy up. So if you want to take part in the convoy and join us, um, you can do. Um, just let me know in the live in, in the comment section below if you wish to do that, um, and obviously we'll let you know one when the next one will be, and two what you need to facilitate that. Um, that's what we need to do is find out what DLCs you have and what mods you have, um, so we can find out best way to do it. Uh, we can also point in the direction of any mods that you don't have. Um, DLCs, but that well, that's just um, that's something we can't help with because um, that's something you need to purchase from Steam. But we can we can work around DLCs um, if we have to and do base the base map uh, if need be. Um, but ideally, if you have as many of the DLCs as possible, it would be perfect. Now we have Pro Mods installed, we have Rust Map installed, and we have um, the Raw X, Raw Extended mod installed as well. As well as the road connector to link them all together. Now, if you have any comments or feedback, do feel free. Um, any feedback in particular, will you take on board? All I ask is feedback is genuine and constructive. Um, it's not just ripping a video apart, um, but if it's genuine feedback, do feel free, drop a comment. Uh, if there's anything you want to see in the, in the future in future videos, again, drop a comment and um, we'll see if we can incorporate. Uh, I will reply to everybody. Might not be the same day, but I will reply to everyone as soon as we possibly can. Um, Yeah, like I said, the live convoys, we can have up to eight people. We've generally got myself, Michael, and Busboy Ben take part at the moment. London Buses has joined a couple. Uh, like I said, so we can have eight in total participate. Like I said, if it is something you're interested in doing, um, have a look at one of the previous videos. The it entails and if you like it um, and if, like, if you do drop a comment and we'll let, let you know when the next one will be and how to get on it so we're in the man tgx 06 not my favorite truck but we did go use truck market uh, when we purchased this with that being one of the new features in the in the update so it was only right that we purchased a used truck um, I say a future truck we may purchase a newer one um, but again we're limited because we've started a new career so one we've got no cash or little cash and two we've got no XP um, so mo any modifications are limited because we haven't unlocked enough yet Now, setup wise, we are using a, a Ryzen 5 5600X uh, motherboard. Oh, we're on World of Trucks, aren't we? So we're limited to 56 miles an hour. Yes, that's right. I was wondering why we couldn't go any faster. Um, Yeah, 
Seven Y is Ryzen 5 5600X processor. Um, MSI Tomahawk motherboard. Um, 32 gig of DDR4 RAM. Uh, water cooled. Custom, well, custom water cooler. Um, and we have a NVIDIA or no DTX sixteen fifty graphics card. Quite modest. It's not it's not one of the, it's not beefy, but it does do the job um, quite well. Uh, we also have um, all of our Steam library on a on an independent high speed NVMe drive. Um, we have Windows on one drive. Um, general programs on a normal hard drive, and then like I said, we've got all of our Steam directory on a high speed second M.2 drive in the board. Um, other ha additional hardware we have two Samsung 24 inch monitors. Um, and we are using the Elgato Wavelength Wave 3 microphone uh, with an Elgato Stream Deck. And for control, we have a Logitech Driving Force GT Sierra wheel, quite an old PS3 wheel. Um, absolute bargain at the moment, pre owned for less than 60 quid. Um, CX and Cash Converter are the most common. Places to pick these up, um, cost me £58, I think, for mine. And they come with two years warranty from CX, so if anything goes wrong, um, it will be replaced with a like for like. Um, I don't think they will, I don't think they will refund you, but it is a. I think after 28 days, it's like for like replacement or potentially an in store credit. I'm not 100% certain on how that would work. If they don't have any available, but yeah, it's, like I say, definitely worth the worth, worth the money. Um, it's a great little budget wheel. Um, nice little cost-effective alternative to the G twenty nine or the G nine twenties, which uh, run from about two hundred and forty nine ninety nine, I believe, still. Brand new. Um, yeah, like I say, excellent little wheel. Yeah, so I will leave a link in the description to all of the mods we have installed. Um, that's that'll be that's that's Pro Mods, Rust Map, and the Row Extended mod. Do have some we do also have some of the one to one maps installed including Grand Utopia and the, the new newly released Rhineland one to one map which came out on the eighth of December. We have tried that one. We haven't tried Grand Utopia yet. We have tried Rhineland. I don't know if that'll be uploaded yet at time of this going up. But if it's not it'll not be long after this one. This is a brand new career mode, so we're only, like I say, episode 8 now. Um, quite a new career. And we're just going to gradually work our way up. Oh, crap. Just drifted across without realising. Um, like I say, depending on finances, we may purchase a brand new truck next time round. So yeah, 120,000. We're probably not. We're probably not going to be doing much with that. Yeah, we're capped. If anyone's wondering why we're only doing 56 mile an hour, it's because we're on a world of trucks external job, which means we are limited to that 56 mile an hour limit. Yeah, 
again, even if you turn the speed the speed limiter off, um, that will not have any. It will not make a difference. Um, I have it defaulted off anyway. But when you do a world of trucks job, it will automatically limit you to fifty six miles per hour. And no, you can't bypass that in any way. Uh, people have asked. I've asked the question. People, other people have asked, and the answer is no. It physically can't be done. It's part, it's part of the world of trucks server. Of course, we do have the Trucky app installed as well, which is where we get the information bar along the bottom of the screen. Um, it is customizable, so you can choose what you see on there and what you don't see, and the order you see it. You can change the colour as well. I don't think you can change the location, I think it is fixed. I think it's fixed to the bottom. Although I could be wrong on that. So we're going to try and keep these episodes to 30 to 40 minutes long. Um, so the early episodes when we were doing quick jobs, we'd done a couple of jobs per episode. Now we've got our own truck and we've got some longer jobs available. Uh, we'll just do one job per run per episode. So yeah, Riding Land is a one-to-one -one map. Brand Utopia is also the same. Um, the caveats to that are you do have to create a brand new profile um, and you can't have any other mods installed. And of course, the, the other caveat is it's a one-to-one -one map, so a sixty-minute journey will a sixty-mile an hour, sixty-mile journey will take what it would take in real life to do sixty miles, so about an hour. Uh, so episodes on any one-to-one -one map are going to be quite extensive, quite quite long and extensive. Um, let's see, we've had a little look at it yesterday at the Rhineland map. It was we done a thirty-minute run, I think it was, quite a short journey, about thirty-five miles. Yeah, that's the that, that's the downside to the one to one maps. So, like I said, if you let me know in the comments section, is it something you'd want to see more or less of? I would prefer the normal maps where we can cover more distance. Or let's like say, would you like to see some of these one to one maps featured? Um, let's say. We've had a look at the Rhineland map, it is quite a nice little map. Um, like I say, it's, for me, I'm not fussed. I'm quite happy to do them if people want to see them. Um, and in the new year, we are going to look at Bomb Sim 22, I believe. Um, we've got, well, we haven't got it installed, it is available. We have got it now, but we just don't have it installed yet. So we, we will look at that in the new year, I believe. We were going to have a look at them. We were going to start it, but I think we're going to hold off till the new year before starting any of those. There we go. Checkpoint. Oh no, it's a toll booth, not a checkpoint. Yeah, we're almost at the end of this episode. Uh, oh, bloody hell. These cars. We've obviously had an accident. Um, again, this is one of the things I do like. I wish OMSI 2 did things like this. 
Um, yeah, I wish we had things like this in Omsi 2. Um, it would make Omsi 2 a little bit better, obviously. But, I mean, everyone knows why Omsi 2 doesn't and can't do, um, which is a shame. But yeah, I would love to have seen features like that in Omsi 2. Um, People often ask, is OMSI 3 going to come out? Uh, no. <laughs> Many people in the who play OMSI 2 will know know the reasons and the story be well some of the some of the story behind it. Um, we will not be will not see an OMSI 3. Um, the developers don't don't speak to each other. Um, they went their separate ways. Aerosoft hold the publishing rights. To the game now, but they can't make any changes to it. Um, so they can't update it, they can't change it. Um, all they have the rights to is selling the game on. Uh, no, that's never going to change. So yeah, there is, uh, there is an abundance of mods available for you to truck. Um, we do have a custom profile set up to test out some mods without affecting our main profiles. Um, we will take a look at some mods over the coming weeks. Um, some good ones, some not so good ones. Um, getting people's thoughts on them. Um, I think we've already covered a couple including the um, Volvo FH 2022 mod, um, the Scania T series mod, the Iveco SWA mod, um, and the hundred the thousand horsepower mod for all trucks. So far, yeah, let's see. We'll, we'll we'll have a look at others in the coming weeks. In the note, are we in the note? I'm not sure that was a French flag that came up on the screen there, but I think that might be the county or the regional flag. But we should definitely still be in France. There we go, we're heading into La Rochelle now. Have a custom. We have the jet, the the normal horn, and then we have a custom air horn. Almost at our destination, and that will cut. This will cut. That will conclude episode eight. So I'm just going to check for fuel. We've got plenty. Turn left. Go straight on in the turn right. 
um, get some fuel and we'll open that, unlock that question mark. How bad is it and then we'll come back down. It's going to either be a recruitment agency or a dealership. I'm, I'm, I'm putting my life into the recruitment agency. There we go. So we'll just head down round the roundabout. Oh. We'll have to wait for the train to go past first and foremost. So we might as well, while we're here, unlock that. Go. Is it going to make us go around it? Um, it is. A recruitment agency, indeed. Well, there we go. We'll just follow this route round, actually. We'll see, we'll do a U-turn, but we'll just follow the road. Yeah, I, I, I said recruitment agency. It was indeed. Try and park as best we can. Uh, there we go, that'll do. Let's just see what bank... Oh, so we've still got two other bank options available. We've got about 130 to borrow if we need to. We're not going to, but if we need to, we can. Um, let's just go and park up. So there we go. That concludes episode number eight. If you haven't already done so, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and join us next time. Till then, good night, God bless.